Hey guys, it's Enui and we are back with another episode of Pokemon Unbound. The uh, last episode we have... Uh, we have plans for our next step actually. That's what actually happened. We decided to team up with the uh, old shadow runs. The old shadows with Zeph and Marlon. And as you can see, I obtained Marlon's suit. And I don't have any plans to take it off because it's so cruel. So, what are we gonna do today is to fight the next gym. The gym in Dehara City, if I remember correctly. So, huh. Oh, I thought I was required to change back in my old uniform. Oh, I was required but I have the option to change it back and you know we gotta change it back <laughs> so if you like the video show some love hit the like button subscribe if you guys are new and without further ado let's jump right into it and I'll go to the Hara city probably just all the trainers right away uh, gym trainers and get you back after I'm done with it and we are here <laughs> that's quite a journey <laughs> yes look, uh, I'm gonna just give you a little bit of a rundown about this gym this is a an electric and steel type gym as I have Observe with the gym trainers. They're using electric and steel type. And the most annoying part is that, as you might have already noticed, some of you, uh, the gyms in this game have terrain effects. They have terrain effects of their own. And this gym has an electromagnetism effect. Every Pokemon here is not affected by ground type. Yes. Electric types and steel types are not affected by ground types in this gym. So it's quite annoying to deal with mono with the mono electric type Pokemon here because they don't have any weaknesses. They just got a brute, brute force. Let's jump right into the gym leader so we can move on from this one. Yo, what's up fella? How's it going? Galvan Sounded like a rapper or something <laughs> My name's Galvan I'm the gym leader in case you couldn't tell How'd you find navigating my gym? Magnetism and electricity by your feet giving you a rough time? Ha 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 that's the point My, my laughter is so scripted <laughs> Invention is born out of necessity. Machines and technology grow only because what came before wasn't quite good enough. That's what me and my gym want to test. So, how are you gonna how are you gonna advance when the most obvious weakness isn't visible anymore? I want you to show me how you adapt. I want you to show me with two of your Pokemon at a time. Oh no, this is a double battle. Oh god. And their only weakness is actually fire type and I don't have any fire type Pokemon. The only one I have that has a fire type move is Guard Chop. Which is Fire Fang with 95 base accuracy. <laughs> if you don't, I got a bad will zap you until you can't even switch. Man, this is gonna be hard. Even though I am on a higher level. I mean, Dark Chips kinda good choice because it's also a ground type. But man, this is 
proving to be quite an annoyance. Okay, let's get rid of Altarius. Dying typing, so we won't take neutral damage. I mean, still a neutral damage because, as far as I know, dragon types don't resist electric. I might be wrong on that part. Yeah, let's make a bold. Let's start off with Sarah so our fire fans won't miss. I just hope it won't use Thunder Wave. Ah, yes. Rock slide. It's a good thing I get rid got rid of our electric typing. I, I mean, flying typing. Yeah, we drew that golem of yours. See that effect? They're, they are levitating with electromagnetism. <laughs> Imagine everything has levitate. My god. They're quite a good thing since this Pokemon is not that bulky. They're quite frail to be honest. Well, except the steel types. Steel types are known for its bulk. So. But yeah. It's a good thing that I, ha I didn't remove Firefang from Guard Jump. Oh no! Oh, it's a crit. That means it's not that high of a damage. And it's really quite annoying that I can't one shot their Pokemon. <laughs> Golem would be a piece of sh piece of work. For guard champ, if it can use bulldoze against it, but it is what it is. The AI in this game is really not that smart, I guess. Because the golem is still, still confusing. Rock, rock like moves against Altaria, even though I removed it this flying turn. Maybe the AI is not informed about it. Not perfect. The dragon types? Is this electric? I don't actually know. Oh my god, I've been playing Pokemon since like forever. I don't have any clues about it. Hyper Voice. That's. Ooh, Hyper Voice in this game is fairy type. It's actually so good. Yeah. Oh, and guys, buff this game. That's 100 power. Usually 70, but. Oh, but the accuracy is lowered by 5. Get rid of fly, yes. I should get rid of fly. I mean, I have an Oiver. I have Sora. And Goron is mainly fairy type at this point. And we actually defeated the team! Quite easily, because I'm over leveled. <laughs> Way over leveled. But, yes, that's fine. I didn't really set a level cap for myself. I don't find it quite fun 
when you're limiting yourself this game because I'm, I'm a really hard grinder when it comes to level based games I always tend to over level my characters so yeah guess your machine support turned out better than mine nothing else to it I gotta hand you the this battery badge battery badge Oh, that looks so nice. Battery badge lets you surf over water and lava. Oh, there's lava surfing here. What a surprise. And not only that, any Pokemon will obey you as long as it's not over level 75. Um, what happens if my own Pokemon gets to, low, it gets to level 75 then? <laughs> I mean, even if it, I'm that hard of a grinder, I won't really overlevel my Pokemon up to that point. <laughs> it's gonna be quite boring. So overlevel that like that. How electrifying is that? Joe, I'm not done yet. Take the CM2. Volt switch. That would be kinda useful if I get an electric type. But there's only a handful of. No. There's actually just two electric dragon types in all of Pokemon as, uh, as far as I remember. I think it's only Dracozolt and Zekrom. Right? That's the pure block is also an ice type. Ice Ice Dragon. So it's not considered as an electric type. So where do we go next? Get the go goggles from a hiker in the Har City. So I know where's that. I managed to sample upon him a while ago when I was exploring this city. So here he is. I mean, I claim that I know where he lives, but I actually forget where he lives. I'm so sorry. It took some quite a while to find him again. Pack, I'd actually be willing to give you mine. You can show me how strong you are by beating the gym. I mean, I already defeated it. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Take these go goggles and explore the great desert. Go goggles. The desert. Huh. Do you have encounters on the desert? I mean... Oh, Trapinch might, might be in the desert. Trapinch... You might get a Flygon. And we! You're seriously only leaving the Hara now? Man, you sure are slow. Well, while you were, lo while you were loitering around, I figured out how to get to the ruins of Void. Of course, by the time we got there, it was already too late to do anything. And we, just the boy I was looking for. Oh, it's Arthur. The man with the cape. <laughs> Wait, who the heck are you supposed to be? And we, have you seen Jax? As I heard, he was planning to travel to Druid to Fort. But I've Whatever the shadows were planning, they were already done it by the time we got there. I saw signs of the battle, but nobody was around. That includes anyone named Jack. Anyway, you were the last one to see him. What happened in there? Aklov? I've never heard of him before. And it's just as I feared. The Dark Force has been released at last. What? Arrows is 
I'm trapped inside a pubis, say. Eh? Yeah, old man. Go figure. <laughs> Outer madness. Oh no. If I know Zep, there's only one thing he could he could have possibly done. Jax. Oh, you say Jax wasn't with Zep? That gives me hope. He must still be out there. Surprised that agreed to work with you. But you know the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> anyway, I don't like the sound of what you told me. This Aklev, the one who controls Hoopa and is working with Faye, then they pose even, an even larger threat than that I suspected. And if the Light of Ruin is another branch of Like the Shadows, then that only means one thing. Recruitment drive. Find more people to turn into those abominations. Oh, they're making another set of Shadow Warriors. How Hoopa fits into things. However, I have no idea. I mean, they could recruit legendary Pokemon for their cause, maybe. If they have taken Jax, no, I try to stay optimistic. Jax is a, is a resourceful boy. But lately, he seems to be contacting me less and less. And with less prep every time. And we head over to Devil Town. Stop the light of ruin and try to find Jax. Whether he's there of his own free will or not, I suspect he will be with them. Okay, that's it. I've had it. I kept my app shut, shut all this time, but I'm not gonna be ignored anymore. Listen, old man, I have no idea who you are or what's happening, but if whatever is going on has to do with the shadows, then I want in. Oh, my apologies. I didn't mean to be rude. Who might you be? <laughs> I guess no one knows you after all, Ace. I'm mad as all else. I don't care about this lot of ruin or whatever. It came close to finding the shadows and finding my parents. And they got away from me again. So if I hear they're heading to Vivil Town, then that's where I'm going. Please, I urge you to wait. As of now, the shadows are our wants to fix a greater problem. At least hold off on your act. Please hold off on your act of vengeance until this ordeal is over, understood? They're your pawns, old man. They're my only lead to my parents. I'm not stupid. I know what's at stake. But the second this is all over, I won't hesitate to shake him down, shake him down for what I want to know. Anyway, since this is officially your mission, I'll be waiting for you in Little Town. And for your sake, I'll even play nice with the shadows until we're done. Don't be late, Anui. That boy, he's got quite a mouth of him. The mouth to him. Well, I wish you luck in Little Town, Anui. Let me know it, how it went as soon as you return. I mean, you're not gonna do anything, old man. You're just gonna wait. My god. So I just discovered that our new encounter can be found here and ask you for 5,000 coins. So I guess it's time to grind this game corner for a while. Uh, I'll be back to you guys after I get it. Hey, and we're finally done with earning the coins we did. That's what, that was quite gruesome. It was rather annoying than hard to be honest. Just the pawn rate of the point giving balloons is not that high, I think. There's a lot more point reducing balloons than the point earning, so eh. quite annoying than hard. <clears throat> I mean, we got an axe, you so it's all worth it. Got hardy nature. 
what are we gonna name this one hmm. I'll call her Chris like the Chris blade level 25 and actually you evolves at level 39 I think oh set is kinda bad but I guess we will get some better moves as we go Eesh. About time we got here, and we. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little on edge. Getting close, so close to finding out what happened to my parents. I guess it's making me lose my control, my cool, so I'm fine. <laughs> but you were making your way over. Over. I tried scouting the area to look for the shadows, but so far I've seen no sign of them. Weird. It's like the entire town is deserted. The only person I saw was this guy with a weird symbol on his outfit, hanging around the warehouse. Part of town. Is that the base of this light of ruin, guys? Well, only one way to find out. I'm going on ahead. If that is their base, then the shadows aren't going to be far behind. So we actually reach Weevil Town. But I guess this is a great place to wrap up the episode. If you like the video, show some love and hit the like button guys. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys on the next video.